Good morning. Today is February the 14th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, originally, I had planned to talk about Valentine's Day, origins of it, things like that. But when I woke up this morning and was looking at my phone, one of the first um, posts I saw on Facebook was from a friend of mine in seminary. Uh, he happens to have uh, a daughter that attends Michigan State University. And fortunately, the first post, the post that he had there was good news. But still, I'd hate to be any parent going through that. Uh, he's mentioning that his daughter was safe, that she and a professor and their class uh, hid in the bathroom of a building for several hours while um, the shooter, uh, I, if you haven't seen the news, whatever, there was another shooting, um, mass shooting. This one happened to be at Michigan State, like I'm mentioning where the student was. But uh, while the while the shooter was at large, they hid in a bathroom in one of the buildings. And now they're all safe. And uh, I would say sound, but this kind of thing is going to shake them up for, um, for a long time. Uh, Valentine's Day is a day we often think about love obviously and with this being the I don't know I think I heard 60 something mass shooting this year or something like that it's clear that people do not love one another enough to actually try to do anything sensible to solve this problem there are not mass shootings in other countries like they are are here I don't have the answers. Uh, it hurts me every time I hear that there have been senseless shooting victims, partly because those who could make some decisions to try to make things better do not have enough love for the people in this country and in this world to do anything. I've always said uh, that Jesus wasn't uh, partisan, but he was political. And today I'm being somewhat political because whether it's in the down the road in Nashville in our state legislature or in Congress, I'm saying today on Valentine's Day that the people who could try to find a reason, the people we put into office to try to find a reason, do not love the people of this country enough to try to find ways to solve this problem. You can be as mad as you want to be, and I'm not saying you ban this or you do that. I don't know the answer, but guess what? I wasn't put in a position um, where the votes I make matter to the point where I can change policy in this country, nor do I want to be. And I do like some of the people we've We've put in the power and they make good decisions, some bad ones. But because this is such a hot topic, people on either side of the aisle would rather complain that the other complain about what the other side is doing than to really sit down together and try to find some solutions. So I ask you today to pray for peace, not just in big places like Ukraine, but peace everywhere so that people's hearts are changed to the point that they don't want to go out and um, and shoot somebody that people who are in decision making um, positions actually try to solve some problems instead of just pointing finger pointing fingers and making you afraid of what the other side is going to do this isn't a republican thing this isn't a democratic thing. This is a love thing. If you, if people truly love the people that they serve, the people, heck, even their own families, then it's time to do something. You, know, you hear about um, shootings at schools and colleges and things like that. And fortunately, um, there's never been anything like that at a school where my children are, but 
I know I'd be a wreck if I had to wait for word to make sure that they were safe. Uh, I feel for the, the families that did that. Obviously, I feel for the families who lost, who lost uh, loved ones in the last day. So enough of me rambling. Maybe this isn't the best Valentine's Day message, but it's one sometimes we have to say. Let's pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for love. Most of all, your love, which is greater than anything we can imagine. We thank you for the love we have for each other. Uh, for those who are uh, the ones we are with uh, in rain or sunshine, uh, the wonderful uh, partners you've given uh, to some of us. Thank you for family and friends, those who uh, we share our lives and, and our hearts with. We thank you for others whom we are called to love, even though we may not meet them, but our family, the body of Christ in this world. When anyone is hurting, we are all hurting. And we ask that you comfort those that are, are going through difficult times, whether it's victims of a natural disaster or a senseless war or an even more senseless shooting. Help us to figure out how to make this stop. Be with those in authority and help them to sit down and at least try to look for answers, to ask you for help instead of sitting around and just waiting for the next disaster to happen. When we come to you, you answer all our prayers. And we ask you to, to be with those who are, who are hurting right now, um, especially the victims of the families at, at Michigan State, for students whose lives were changed yesterday, help them to find peace and help us to know all know the peace that comes only from you. In your name we pray. Amen.